Well, howdy, everybody there in viewership land. Welcome back to Nana's Apartment. We're going to be jumping into some ECW Hardcore Revolution today, one of the other acclaimed games uh, for the N64. Today we're going to be doing the most obvious thing I could think of to do with this game, and that's have a match with my two favorite people in ECW, my favorite match of all time, Rob Van Dam versus Jerry Lynn. It's my favorite match ever, Rob Van Dam, Jerry Lynn, Hardcore Heaven, 1999, had to double check the year for that because it's only ever been on compilations I've ever seen so I've never watched it in real time as it happened anyway Hardcore Heaven 1999 we're going to give ode to that today in this matchup right here Hardcore Revolution here at ECW for the N64 Rob Van Dam Jerry Lynn one of the greatest matches you could ever watch I tell you here on the acclaimed games they have uh, sound alikes in the ECW one because they're all actual you know copyrighted music so you can't actually put them in a game so this is Pantera's Walk uh, for Rob Van Dam. I can't remember what Jerry Lynn's is, but uh, Edit and Paul, you can go ahead and throw that in there if we can, uh, we can decipher what it's supposed to be. Ah, uh, this is going to be one hell of a interesting sight. Again, the the matchup, the matchup in the, with the game engine will be nowhere near as beautiful as to watch these two in the ring. But again, if you have a chance, watch Rob Van Dam, Jerry Lynn. Uh, Avoid their stuff in TNA because uh, they're well past their prime, but this match, uh, the Living Dangerously, uh, Guilty is Charged, yes, please, that 2001 one. If you can get a fresh DVD, uh, not a WWE-ified one, but if you get an uncensored uh, 2001 ECW release, Guilty is Charged, uh, the entrance for Rob Van Dam is probably one of my top ten favorites of all time. Not just entrance in general, but just that particular entrance in that particular pay-per-view was... And fucking incredible. Uh, please uh, go out of your way. Just watch that whole last pay-per-view. It's amazing. Uncensored and unedited by WWE if you can. Alrighty then. <laughs> I do have some moves written down next week so I don't have to go to the fucking well too many times. I did do a dry run of this again. These two in their prime, uh, if you want to go ahead and watch them, basically these two knew each other like nobody else. A little spin around splash there to Jerry Lynn. Uh, these two knew each other quite unlike anyone else. And, you know, there are people in the business who, you know, will memorize, like, their own spots and sequences and stuff like that. And sure enough, these two did have a lot of uh, different sequences that were memorized clearly, but they did it in such a natural way and just made the matches that they were in feel so naturally progressed uh, that I... I if you're a wrestler that's learning how to wrestle, please watch them. They're fucking amazing. Glad that Jerry Lynn's tights more or less is what he's wearing in my favorite match he can wear in this game. I went through all their attires to see which combination would be the best. <laughs> Crowd's dead for this one, though. Or a bit louder than the match I had before. Handing Jerry Lynn his ass, unlike the match I did before in Dry Run. Ooh, super kick. Those educated feet of Van Dam. Oh, Jesus. Poke the eye. It's sad that this is basically the only way you can actually... Oh, Tiger Driver. It's the only way you can see these two in a natural video game that are not creative wrestlers. It's one of the few ways... That I, I might have to look it up. I think this is the only way you can do this match. Period. <laughs> Obviously, Van Dam has been in a, a couple of video games. Jerry Lynn also uh, in a couple. He was in a WWF uh, Just Bring It, which is kind of funny when you think about it. And also, I just want to really quickly put this on the record. It has always been my stance, and it is going to be for the rest of my days, that if you're going to put the championship on Rob Van Dam, a guy who's had 420 in his slogans and I believe t-shirts even, you know, that's his shtick, you know, it, it, they, they have an instance of that being a move of his in some stupid tag team with Rey Mysterio. The 420! And then you take it off of him because of pot. I don't understand you as a company. What are you? Like... What? Like, what? Like, RVD at 420, and you, you 
Oh, he oh he, he has pot. He, he had got to run in with the law with pot. Yeah, no shit, no shit. It's like putting your championship on Cheech and Chong or fucking, you know, Willie Nelson or fucking Snoop Dogg. Oh, like they've done, and then it's like, oh, you know, fucking duh, the man's associated with weed. You goddamn morons. What the hell? Biggest travesty in my generation. I swear to God. I'm not crying. My eyes are red because I was in the back smoking a joint with Van Damme. I'm sad that they um didn't get to be with each other for um, any reunion shows. Uh, I believe there's contract obligations. Um, basically, stop these two from performing. You see, every one night stand and all that shit. So while we're on this subject, I might as well say that one of my favorite sequences, one of my favorite sequences of all time, happened between these two and their match at Guilty as Charge 2001. So here we go. Rob Van Dam presses Jerry Lynn, drops him on the mat. Lynn flips onto his back, moonsault by Rob Van Dam onto Lynn. Van Dam does a kip up onto Brett's rope, moonsault from Brett's rope, back onto Jerry Lynn. The whole thing takes place so quickly and so cleanly, and the fact that the distances cleared and <laughs> everything was just perfect. Anything that could have gone wrong was just not present, and it was just phenomenal to see that quick sequence go off without a hitch, especially between these two when you know they produce gold every time. Ugh, oh, love, love. So you can sit him up here. Uh, super son of a bitch. Uh, head scissors by Jerry Lynn. I think he's bleeding the back of the neck. At least he was. Obviously, I wanted to show a little bit of this game off. Because, well, fucking, again, it's one of the few actual ECW games there are to fucking play. I would argue that SmackDown vs. Raw 08 is another one. Oh, busted up and on the cheek. But again, ECW and these games do not get enough... So I like to feature everything I can on this Come channel. On. Jerry, though, I tell you, the fans are getting kind of annoyed. I got all my moves that I can't get done now. I just need to get my five star and your ass is grass. And I'm going to smoke it. Is that a drug reference? Oh, power slam. And finally, I just want to book in this by saying WWF gave Jerry Lynn the light heavyweight title. They gave Rob Van Dam the hardcore title and almost immediately the intercontinental title. Plus, they almost gave him the WWF title in a main event at No Mercy during the invasion. Why is the only match between these two motherfuckers and WWF on Sunday Night Heat for a title? Just give him a pay-per-view match, you morons. Apparently, Vince just doesn't like money when it comes to ECW. He'll kick to the face. Will that be enough? Oh, he's down. A bit far away from the turnbuckle. Will that be it? Oh, five star off the top. Oh, will that be enough? Van Dam sealing the deal on Jerry Lynn here at Nam's apartment. Yes, it will be. Again, I like the fact that we can get that in here at Nam's apartment. Rob Van Dam getting the win over Jerry Lynn. I like the look of this game, but I tell you, it has some a lot of polishing to do, but... As far as polishing turds, this is the best you can do. Rob Van Dam, Jerry Lynn, and ECW Hardcore Revolution for the N64. We thank you for joining us, folks, and we will see you next.